is by far the realest video you're gonna come across on YouTube about starting a hair business for 2020, for 2021, for 2022, for 2023, and most especially for 2024. If you wanna know the realty on this whole starting a hair business thing and how to actually break into a cheat code, then continue watching this video because I'm gonna tell you something that no other girly, no other vendor list seller, no other hair brand owner is going to tell you. Um, really everything is saturated. Selling hair is overly saturated. The girls that do lashes is overly saturated. The girls that do nails is overly saturated. Eyebrows overly saturated. Boutique owners overly saturated. Everything is overly saturated on the internet because everyone in 2024 is pursuing content creation. Our generation between millennials and Gen Z no longer want to work the nine to five American dream, white picket fence, go and get a college degree, get married, have a family. That is no longer the American dream. The American dream in 2024 is to make passive income, to make money on the internet, to live life on your own terms, to be able to go on vacation, to go on trips. That is the American dream for millennials and Gen Z this year. So when it comes to starting up a hair business, it's like, what's the realty? I wanna start a hair business, but I feel like it's overly saturated. I wanna start a hair business, but I don't know where to start. I wanna start a hair business, I wanna start a hair business, can't find a vendor, wanna start a hair business, bought this vendor list and it sucked, it didn't da 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 boom. This is the number one thing that you need to know about starting a hair business. And honestly, you can apply this to your boutique, your lash business, your, uh, your accessory business, your iPhone cases, whatever it is that you sell. It is no longer about your product. It is no longer about your product. It is no longer about your product. Your product matters, but it does not point blank period. Your marketing strategy is literally all that matters because there is a target audience for everyone. So of course, me speaking for the girlies that want to start a hair business because that's what my channel is built on. That's my niche. Of course, we want to sell and we want to be able to give our customers the best hair extensions, the best bundles, raw hair, raw Vietnamese, raw Indian, raw Cambodian. We've heard it all. Of course, we want to give them the best hair and you should aim to have the best quality that you see fit but for each brand there is a target audience for every brand you have the girlies that are on tiktok that absolutely love amazon wigs and in my personal opinion i would say that those wigs are not good quality it's just not my cup of tea but when you get on tiktok there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of girls who value the low budget, the quick and affordable, the quick turnaround, get their wig next day. And that is marketing for Amazon and any brand that is selling on Amazon because there's so much content on TikTok that showcases like these wigs are really affordable and you can get the look, you can get the high-end expensive look by shopping on Amazon, really affordable, fast turnaround. Then you have your girlies on the other end that sell raw hair extensions that are of really, really high quality that are out here making money as well and they have a high ticket cost or a high ticket price. So there could be a girly that is selling very affordable virgin what do you call it 8a 9a 12a whatever hair and there is an audience out there that values the affordability of that hair even though it's not the best quality and she just might if she has a better marketing strategy than the raw hair girly that's selling six seven eight hundred nine hundred dollar wigs and bundles the affordable 200 300 bundle deals girly could be making more money than the raw hair girl you could have a girl with raw hair and she has the best grade or quality of hair and she cannot get that hair off her hands because she hasn't been able to find her target audience that values that high end quality and the story can go vice versa. So truly it all comes down to your marketing. It's not about the product. It's not about anymore who has the best quality or not. 
for example, this is a really nice hair brand that I follow. She actually sells synthetic wigs. And to someone that is into raw hair or human hair, they may not see this, see this as quality to wear synthetic wigs. And even in her marketing, it shows that there is some tangling because it's synthetic. That's a given, right? But to 28,000 people, they see the value in her brand because of her marketing. But is it really about the quality anymore? Because these are synthetic wigs. It's not even human hair. But yet she's a six-figure brand. It all comes down to your target audience and your marketing. Not, I'm not going to sit here and directly say, like, don't care or have pride in the quality that you put out for your business. Anyone that is looking to start a business in any industry uh, or in any way, shape or form, as a business owner, you should take pride in what you're selling. You should research what you're selling and you should ultimately be proud of what you're selling. But depending on who your target audience is, is really all that lays in the value. And in order to find your target audience, it's going to require you to market. Marketing is putting together a campaign, letting people know that a brand is launching or that your brand is on the way, bringing awareness to yourself, bringing hype, bringing excitement. A lot of people on the internet are no longer even really watching YouTube videos. Everyone is on TikTok, everyone is into reels. What's the trendy sounds? Trending sounds are changing every day. Basically the internet is becoming a popcorn story. Everything is popcorn, 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 popcorn. What was trendy yesterday is not trendy tomorrow. So with that being said, if you take the time to reflect on your marketing, that's gonna be the key to actually selling hair, not the product that you sell. You sell the best hair in the world and it's the most expensive hair in the world for the girlies that are looking for something that is affordable and something that they can turn over because they like quick, trendy hairstyles. Your hair is not gonna provide any value to them no matter how silky or shiny it looks on camera. And for the girlies that are into high quality hair extensions, they love hair extensions that they can wear over and over and over again, you having the most affordable hair is not going to be anything that really sits well with them either because why is it so, why is the ticket price so low? That's not good quality hair. That's not gonna last me long. I like to have, you know, so you need to figure out, first of all, who your target audience is. You need to figure out how you can get in front of them and market to them. And then ultimately what I've decided with my Her Vendor Connect or with my business, Her Week Academy, as a mentor was to go ahead and actually restructure my course and I've created a whole new course, all new content and context that revolves around marketing because that's the key on the internet right now is putting out a story for your brand. And then honestly, I'm gonna be real with y'all, the products come second to marketing. You might link up with a hairstylist or something like that and figure out how to like either front the money for a hairstylist and make them your partner or, um, or come up with some finance marketing ideas like that. But by me wearing a hair, it kind of like in the beginning cut down on advertising costs because I could just buy the hair and put it in my hair. And you know what I mean? I could be a walking billboard. Um, my marketing book is geared towards any industry. Like you could literally sell coats, socks, hats, hair, lip gloss, um, because it's marketing. Marketing is marketing. Marketing is just a strategy to get people to um, to buy. Um, if you don't have a marketing strategy, it doesn't matter if you sell the worst hair in the world or the best hair in the world, you're not gonna make a sale. And it also doesn't matter how many followers you have. It doesn't matter if you have 4,000 followers or if you have 100,000 followers. I have 4,000 followers on Instagram and up to date, probably by the time I post this video, around 13,000 subscribers, and I've been able to make $100,000 in sales. I have paid influencers that have 100,000 followers and subscribers across all their platforms and didn't make me not one sale because their marketing did not speak to my target audience. Million followers and she couldn't sell 36 t-shirts. She get a bunch of likes, she had a bunch of fans, but she didn't have a buying audience. And so she didn't have influence, like influence to, to make people want to buy. She had fans, people who loved her and wanted to see what she had going on, but you gotta have influence. That's what an influencer is. An influencer can influence you to buy things that they like. Um, and so that's the difference and people get that con confused with followers. Like, you know what I mean? So in my course, Start Up A Hair Business, Her Vendor Connect, I found a hair vendor that 
uh, provides drop shipping and they provide a pre-order system so essentially they are based here in the United States and they do sell virgin hair and raw hair you can choose the preference of who you want to sell to or who your target audience is or you can choose to sell both so you don't leave any money on the table and essentially what this allows you to do is you don't have to come up with money up front because it's very expensive to start up a hair brand and the last thing I want you to do is to spend thousands of dollars on hair and inventory and just to realize that you don't have a marketing strategy or you don't have a real business plan and structure when you invest in this hair vendor whenever you make a sale that is when you will actually place an order for your inventory so you don't need any money up front to go ahead and start all you need to do is just focus on your marketing and presenting to the world what your business is and why your business uh, is of value to your specific target audience so whether it is you know affordability or whether it is high-end you will be focusing on creating campaigns and creating reels and creating TikToks and building your social media presence to bring in the sale because a lot of people are buying off of how you made them feel spontaneously in the moment and that is what you need to capture and that is what you need to focus on and once you are able to master that that is when the sales the real sales are going to come in and passively you will be able to then just go ahead and place your order after your customer has placed the order and because my vendor is located in the US they do have where you can either receive your product within within two to three days or they actually have an overnight shipping system which will allow you to essentially get your pre-orders out as quickly as possible without your customer really even realizing that you're doing a pre-order stop buying these cheap hair vendor lists for 15 20 dollars it's a scam nobody that really took the time to find a reliable hair vendor is going to charge you 15 20 dollars for a real vendor stop buying these 100 plus vendors what are you going to do with a 100 plus vendor list you might as well have just looked up a vendor for yourself and then even if they do sell you their real vendor, stop purchasing it because the hair looks good. And then by the time you actually get the vendor list, the hair is so expensive to purchase as the CEO, you can't even obtain the inventory before you even try to resell it to your customers. It's too expensive for you to purchase it. Ming Lee opened and started her own salon, Snob Life Studios, that's still open today off of a pre-order system. I am providing you a vendor that will be able to assist you with starting up a business with low cost, low risk, and all you have to do is focus on being a marketing giant. And if it doesn't work, you didn't lose out on anything. This is 2013. I woke up to $200,000 in my account to where I had to shut the cell off. At eight o'clock in the morning, I had to shut the cell off. I'm like, one, I don't have the hair. Did not have nowhere near. I probably had a thousand of the 200. So I'm like, I don't have the hair. Boom. All right. I don't have the manpower to even pack and sort the hair. Like, you know what I mean? I, I was 20. So, 26. so I don't have the hair. I don't have the manpower to pack the hair. Um, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. Like I'm, I'm like looking at the phone, looking at the ceiling, like fucking like pinching myself. Like what the. F so once your customer orders, you place the order, the vendor will send your product, version, or raw to you within 24 hours, and then you're able to go ahead and ship it right out to your customer. Or if you wanna skip that process and you don't wanna waste any time with the vendor shipping the product to you, you can actually do drop shipping and have the vendor send the order directly to your customer within 24 hours. So your customer literally will have no idea that you have this pre-order system, and you get to passively just go ahead and collect this money and put this money in your bank account and then what you will do is you will use your profit to do one of two things you will use your profit to one invest into more marketing whether it be photo shoots whether it be graphics whether it be in investing in building up a website that is catchy that grasps attention whether it is a hair appointment staying up to date with keeping your hair done staying on top of trendy hairstyles that are going to grasp people's attention and help you to make a sale online and then secondly you're gonna take that money to invest and save 
and put to the side so that you can, as you move forward, the pre-order system isn't gonna be something that you wanna build your business on forever. Maybe it'll work for the first two, one to two years, but slowly over time, you're gonna invest some of your profit that you've made passively into actually buying inventory. And then in the next year or two, next thing you know, you'll actually have inventory on hand because that's what it requires to become a real hair entrepreneur boss. So here's the real play. You use this vendor that has pre-order and drop shipping for your first one to three years in business. While you're doing that, you're also stacking your profit because you're making passive profit and you're also building your business credit. There's so much to building business credit other than obtaining funding for inventory, but you can also purchase your dream car in your business name. You can get your dream apartment, townhouse, rent it as a corporate lease in your business name. I have a course on building business credit because it's really important that you build your business credit while you're using this vendor as well. So two, three years down the line, let's say you, now you a big boss, you're a vet in the game. You don't need a hair vendor list. You go and you source a hair vendor for yourself and they're more expensive. They sell the best hair in the world. Now you're a real boss. You're rich off hair at this point. Now you have 10, 20, 30, $30,000 in funding from your profits and from obtaining business credit and loans. Now you can get what the vendor would have charged for $500 when you just started trying to purchase hair as a rookie. Now you can get that hair for $110 a pop. You think that Ming Lee, you think that Kendra's Boutique, you think that the wig dealer are paying $500 a wig? No, they're purchasing hair in large bulk and getting it for the low. That's the real play. So if you're interested in my hair vendor, and this is the real key to actually building a hair brand, I am going to be using this hair vendor. I am focusing on getting rich off hair and I had to really sit down and really analyze like, why am I not rich off hair yet? Like, check the stats, look at the views on my videos, look at the way that I've impacted my industry. Why am I not rich off hair yet? And I had to realize because my marketing sucks, point blank, period. I'm focusing on the quality of the product, but I have no marketing strategy to get the quality product in front of the people that I actually want to sell to. So if you want to join me on the rich off hair challenge, check out the link that I will have pinned in the comments. I will have a link to my course so you can shop this vendor. You also can pay for a coaching call after you've purchased the vendor. This coaching call is only gonna be accessible to my mentees that have purchased my vendor. So I can get on the phone with you and I can help you figure out who your target audience is, who you wanna sell to, and how you can actually create a campaign and a marketing strategy to get your product in front of those individuals. And I'll help you come up with your own campaign. Right now I have my campaign, the 444 campaign. Check out my Instagram account, Heard the Hustle, if you wanna have an idea of what it looks like somebody having a marketing strategy, build a campaign and a theme to put the products and you know, I'm in the middle of a relaunch, you wanna see what a launch looks like, go check out my Instagram, Heard the Hustle, and let me know what you think. And check out the course as well as coaching calls and I'll see you guys in my next video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like because I guarantee nobody is going to get on this YouTube and give y'all the real. It is no longer about the product. It's too saturated in this market. It is about your marketing. And I said what I said, okay? But yeah, shop the 444 campaign because y'all know I'm gonna give quality and I'm gonna give marketing, period.